Today, I want to talk to you about the best stockbrokers if you live in Europe. Now, if you're into finance and investing, you've probably seen other YouTubers talking about Webull, Robinhood and many other apps. They are great apps. The problem, however, is they don't really work in Europe. So the question is, what alternatives do we have here in Europe and other parts of the world? And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what are your best options. Now, obviously, there are tons of stockbroker apps out there. Even in Europe, we really have a lot more and more, obviously, as investing became more popular and more accessible. Even banks started coming out with their own investment products where you can buy stocks through the banks but usually i really recommend against that because often they charge a huge fee and it just eats into your profitability i would always recommend go with a dedicated stock broker and there are a lot of options you can choose from in europe so if i covered every single one of them this video would probably take a couple of hours and that's why in this video i only want to focus on some of the most established players in the market now obviously fees and commissions are a big part in choosing a broker however in this video i don't want to focus too much on them because those things constantly changed so whenever you watch this video those might have already changed instead i want to focus on the trustworthiness and the features what they offer plus the usability of the interface and one more point for you to consider when you read about brokers online and you see commission-free trading that really sounds amazing doesn't it however be very careful because often they're actually hidden fees when you for example withdraw your funds they will charge you when you deposit your funds they will charge you when there's a no activity meaning you don't trade any stocks for a certain amount of time they will charge you when you want to buy stocks in another currency and you have to exchange the money they will charge you a very high exchange fee and lastly they often make money on the spread the difference between the bid and ask price you don't really see it you think you get a good price for what you buy but actually if you really go online on yahoo finance or seeking alpha and see the latest stock price often you're going to be paying slightly more when you buy it through some of those apps that give you commission-free trading and that's basically how they make their money for you you just think ah, it's a couple of cents more but those cents actually do add up over time so actually a broker who might charge you a small commission on every single trade might be better if you start building up and increasing your trades over time because the spread price difference can really have a big impact on the long-term evolution of your portfolio with this let's get started right so the first one is called eToro it's very popular probably if you've been watching any youtube videos you came across the ads they're very aggressive in terms of marketing and you know obviously been operating since 2007 so really they have a long track record and it can definitely be trusted and a very big player especially for europeans and non-us citizens it's a very good option that allows you many different asset classes that you can trade and one of the most popular features they have is copying other successful investors you can basically see their portfolio some of the top performers and basically just copy paste and have all the shares automatically in your portfolio and you follow the same trend hoping to get similar returns now if that's good or bad i leave that for you to answer myself i want to make my own decisions but for somebody beginning and just starting off it could be an interesting feature to have you can also have smart portfolios where they invest in different themes and interest classes so that could be interesting for you and yes they definitely pride themselves in having zero commissions and uh, so that's definitely very attractive for a lot of beginning investors where you basically don't pay any commissions on any stock trades or ETF trades, which is really nice. They also offer cryptocurrencies, commodities, other currencies. So they offer more than just stocks, so ETFs as well. So it really has a big variety in offering you can choose from. So definitely one of the better options you can choose. The platform is called Trading212, which is very popular as well. Over recent times, grew quite a lot. They are available in Europe and the UK, so it really has a big reach and definitely a very, very popular player. They actually keep their funds with interactive brokers, which is another broker we come to in a second but that just shows you how strong interactive brokers is the fact that they're using interactive brokers as a sort of backbone for their operations and stock trading themselves but the app to be honest is much sleeker much cleaner and i really enjoy it you can buy fractional shares it makes it very simple very user friendly so the app is really great and once again it's commission free trading for everyone now of course they say over here some fees apply withdrawal fees fx fees and quite a high spread so that's something once again to keep an eye on the great thing here as well you can start investing from as little as one pound or one euro which is amazing if you just getting started and want to get your feet wet it's a great place to get started and of course the fact that they're using interactive brokers they have some of the biggest reach over 12,000 global stocks and ETFs so definitely you will most likely find what you're looking for and the great thing is they not only have an app but also a web interface which for me is quite important mostly of course I use the app for everyday trades but at the same time sometimes I want to log on to the web interface and do a bit more deep dive and analysis so I think it's very good to have both these options available right so when you look at the terms and fees you can see here obviously commission-free trading which is great no custody fee which is also 
also amazing. FX fee is a small one, but actually if you trade a lot in different currencies, this starts adding up quite a bit to be honest. They do allow you, for example, also making deposits with Apple Pay and Google Pay, but that's capped at 2000 euros and anything over it, they will charge you. Usually I always recommend doing a bank transfer. So overall, definitely great options. Two things to keep in mind though. One, they did stop new signups for quite a while. People couldn't register new accounts. Now again, they're open, but it's kind of on and off, which for me, it's a little bit worrying, but now they're back online and you can create your new account if you wanted to. Second, and just like eToro, unfortunately until now, trading 212 does not allow you to transfer your shares out of the platform into another broker. And once again, for me, that's a big red flag because we never know what happens to brokers, right? We've seen this recently with other crypto exchanges, which went out of service. So in case I see one of my brokers going down potentially, I wanna be able to transfer my funds out of it. So with trading 212 not allowing me that, I'm a little bit hesitant to use them as my main broker. Next up, we have Revolut. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I'm a huge Revolut lover. I use Revolut every single day with my Revolut card for my daily transactions, and I really love the app. So if you're already in that ecosystem of Revolut, then using them for your stock trades, especially if you're starting off, it's probably your best bet. Because once again, they do offer commission-free trading, even though there is a tiered system. So depending on which plan you have, you may get more commission-free trades. But overall, it's a really slick app. I really loved it. That's actually how I I got started investing into stocks by using Revolut. They don't have the biggest selection in the world and unfortunately no ETFs at this moment. So if you're looking for ETF investing, then Revolut sadly is not your options at this stage. Hopefully it will be added, but at the moment they don't offer ETFs and most of the stocks are usually focused in the US. So that's the biggest selection of stocks you can have there. And the great thing is Revolut actually allows you to transfer your funds out of Revolut into another broker. So that's one of the few platforms that actually allows you that. And I've recently done it myself, sending my funds from Revolut into interactive brokers. And that's really amazing because you can basically get started with Revolut, start buying your first stocks and as your portfolio grows and you wanna kind of add more ETFs and just, you know, have a bigger and more reliable broker, you can just transfer all your funds to another broker. And that's really something very few brokers unfortunately do. Another strong plus of Revolut are the amazing currency exchange rates. So as you buy stocks in the US and you wanna exchange your euros or pounds to USD, you're probably gonna get some of the best rates over here. And that really helps as well when you invest because as I said before, other brokers charge very big spreads on those exchanges. One thing to keep in mind though, as I understand, currently some of the signups don't go through, especially in the UK, as they're in the process of getting a full-fledged UK banking license. So once they have it, I believe they will open up and also grow their portfolio, including ETFs, etc. So for the time being, if you can't open your stock account with them, just go on the waiting list but it will definitely resume because they really place a lot of importance on stock trading and of course crypto which they offer as well next we have trade republic probably one of the fastest growing brokers in europe they started off in germany and then added more and more countries unfortunately i haven't had a chance to test them myself because they don't cover lithuania yet where i'm based but hopefully they will add it as well soon so i can give it a go however they're definitely growing very fast for investors in europe obviously regulated in germany no order fee once again so you can really see the theme Commissions are not really being charged anymore. So that's a great thing for investors. And you can earn up to 2% annual interest on your cash that's basically sitting there and not being invested. So that's great as well. And more and more brokers are offering that. Another very neat feature is that they have saving plans where they basically automatically invest every single month money that you have sitting in your deposit account, collecting interest. And then at specific intervals that you define, it will automatically buy certain shares of stocks that you have identified previously. And also it offers stocks and ETFs of over 10,400 companies. So really a huge selections around the world where you can buy stocks from. And the web interface and the app looks very sleek. I saw other YouTube videos where people in Germany actually reviewed it and really I quite like it. The fact that once again, you can buy ETFs and stocks from as little as one euro, more and more brokers are doing that. I remember my first stocks I bought with my local bank. I had to spend at least 50 euro to buy a share here we can buy now fraction of stocks from as little as one euro, one pound. And that's just amazing. and makes it so much more accessible for beginners. Another big plus of using Trade Republic is the fact that they also allow you to transfer your funds and shares out of Trade Republic into another broker. So really, once again, one of the few that actually does that. And for me, that's really important. And I'm really happy that Trade Republic offers such feature. Moving on, we have Scalable Capital, which is actually one of the newer players on the market, but they're also growing very fast. And more and more people are actually changing from some of the other brokers I spoke before to Scalable Capital. One of the fact is that they're really offering, once again, amazing interest, 2.3%. You can see even higher than the previous broker we spoke about and commission-free trading. So basically all your money that sits in your account waiting to 
to be invested will get such an interest, which again is not the highest in the world you could possibly get, but for just having it sit on your broker's deposit account is really not too bad. The app and interface is a bit more sophisticated, but still quite simple to use and straightforward. Obviously, they have a huge selection of different stocks. You can see over 7,000 stocks around the world, ETFs, 2,000 from around the world, different funds, derivatives, crypto as well. So a massive amount of selection in case you want to invest in different markets. And they also have different plans, which is quite interesting. So they have a free plan, which costs you zero, but then you have a small commissions of 99 cents per trade. Then you can pay three euros per month and then you get commission free trading or you pay five euros per month, you get commission to trading and you get 2.3% interest for up to 100,000 euros. So interesting model, how they price it. Once again, if you invest a lot, it makes sense paying for that. If you don't want to have a monthly fee, then you can still go for the free options and then just pay per trade. So it's really as per your preference. While sadly, they're also not yet available in Lithuania. I haven't tried it myself, but I read great feedback online, really heard good things about it. They're really growing very fast. And once again, they allow you to transfer your funds out of scalable capital into any other broker. And that's really a great feature to have. Next up, we have the Jira, which is probably the granddaddy of investing apps in Europe. I mean, they've been around really a long time and they really have a solid track record and one of the most trusted brokers. So if you live in Europe and you want a trusted broker above all, then honestly, the Jira is probably one of your best bets because they really have a great track record, very solid. They're based and regulated in the Netherlands and really very much trusted. You can see here the different countries they're available in. Once again, not in Lithuania, which is a shame, but in many, many other countries. So definitely, most likely you can give them a go. Now, personally, I must say their branding and design and interface does need some work. As you can see here, the website is actually not really selling too much, to be honest, or doesn't show many of the features. And the app also looks a bit clunky for me, to be honest, not very sleek. But once again, it does the job. It's very reliable, trustworthy, and the Jiro allows you also to transfer stocks and shares out of the Jiro into another broker. And that's amazing to see. Then we move on to free trade. Now, all my UK viewers will be very familiar with this app as they're very strong and established, obviously, in the UK. Unfortunately, that's the issue for most Europeans. They're sadly not available in Europe yet. There is a sign up list and waiting list. So if you live in Europe, you can't really use free trade. But if you're in the UK, you will be very familiar with them. Obviously, once again, one of the first apps that started and initiated commission-free trading. They even offer 3% interest between your investments. So that's great to see. But once again, they have an interesting pricing structure. So they have a free model, then a paid one for five pounds and then one for 10 pounds, which obviously gives you the different benefits. You can see here the 3% is only on the top tier plan available. The great thing is the paid plans also allow you ISA support for your shares and stocks, but the commission-free trading basically applies to all three tiers. As I'm not living in the UK. Sadly, I can't try the app, but from what I've seen, it really looks sleek and very nice interface and something I could definitely see myself using to buy stocks. And well done to them because also free trade allows you to transfer your stocks and shares to another broker. So that's really great to see. Then we have Bitpanda based in Austria. They actually started off as a crypto exchange and then started adding stock trading as well. So I actually used them when I started off buying cryptos in the beginning and I quite liked them, even though later on I changed to other exchanges. But the stock feature is equally easy to use and and once again, allowing you commission-free trades of all your stocks from as little as one euro. So that's really great to see. Very fast to get started. I signed up to them and in a matter of minutes, you're registered and good to go and start investing. It's easy to track your favorite investments, what you want to see. And then you can obviously have your watch list there, which is great. It's very safe. Apparently, they really put a big emphasis on security and being audited by KPMG, which is great. And they really want to be more than just a stockbroker. So that's why I said by having cryptocurrencies, allowing you to save money to earn interest, they don't want to just be a stock broker, but a complete money solutions for all your investment needs. Instead of having different tiers like we've seen with other brokers, they actually have their own Bitpanda ecosystem token called BEST. So the more BEST tokens you have, you will get additional benefits by using the platform. So if you really invest in that ecosystem and start building up those tokens, it can really be beneficial to you. But for me, having seen so many crypto projects fail, I'm really not interested in having yet another crypto token that I don't really know too much about what the future will hold for that token. But yes, the app is very sleek, very nicely designed. As I said, commission free from one euro, you can start investing fractional shares as most brokers offer these days, which is important. So you don't have to buy an entire stock. Sometimes some of the stock costs a thousand euro. So you can just buy the same stock, but only own a fraction of that. 
for one euro, let's say. They're saying they're fully backed by physical assets because some of the brokers don't actually physically buy those shares. They actually say that they do buy them and keep them in their own custody, which is good to see. And once again, highlighting commission-free trading with tight spreads. They're saying no account fees, no management fees, no list fees, no FX fees, no fees on distributing or other payouts. And we don't charge any commissions on any trades ever. So if you live in Europe or the UK, Bitpanda definitely has a very strong offering with probably some of the lowest fees out there. The only reason why I myself wouldn't really go all out with Bitpanda is the fact that at this very moment, unfortunately, they don't allow you to transfer your shares and stocks to another broker. So you would be really stuck with them and not be able to move your funds around. So hopefully they'll add that in the future. Other than that, really an amazing broker you could be checking out. Next up, we have one of the most recent additions to the stockbroker portfolio in Europe, and that's called Lightyear. One of the apps I actually tried myself and I started buying some stocks with them. And honestly, guys, it's probably been the most seamless and sleek buying experience and stock interface experience that I've ever seen in any stock trading app. You can buy commission-free stocks and ETFs through that app. And literally it took me three minutes to sign up. And a second later using Apple Pay, I was the proud owner of some Amazon shares. Now looking at the recent price developments of Amazon, I'm not so sure if I'm that proud anymore, but nevertheless, the buying experience was really superb. And what I really love is the amount of ETFs you can buy in Europe, in the US and many parts around the world. And they're very upfront about any charges that potentially do incur. So they're very transparent. And that actually comes from the fact that some of the Lightyear founders used to previously work in WISE, which was formerly called TransferWise, which is one of the best apps to transfer and exchange money. So they really incorporated some of the good things that WISE did and just focused the same on to investing. So really, really sleek. When they say commission-free, we mean it. As you can see over here, the app really, really sleek. And actually in the future, I'm gonna do a deep dive tutorial on using Lightyear because I think it can be super, super powerful for you. Obviously they do charge a small FX fee, as it says over here, a simple flat 0.35% fee. That's basically the main thing, how they generate income for their platform. They do have great analytics and insights because some apps, they have so many numbers that's overwhelming. They really focus on what is relevant and most important. So when you go to the price, they really make it very transparent. Once again, most of the things are commission free. They even talk about the taxes, which obviously depend on which country you're living in. Account fees, all of them are zero and they don't even have a paid account. That's all the base account. You don't have to pay a monthly fee, which is amazing. Transfer fee, basically everything is zero. The only fee is applied to currency conversions. And not only that, you're going to be getting a monthly payment of those annual interest rates you can see over here. I mean, even in Europe to get 1.75% without paying anything monthly is great. If you're holding USD in your account, which most likely if you plan to invest in the US, you will, you're going to get 3.75% annual interest rate. So really, really great once again, without having a monthly fee for it. Now, as I mentioned, they're fairly new to the investing space in Europe. I will do more analysis and deep dive and tutorials in the future about them. But so far, I really started loving the app and actually started buying a few shares here and there. The only caveat here at this stage, Lightyear does not allow you to transfer your stocks and shares out of the app. But as I said, they're still fairly new and they did mention that in the future, they will look into adding these options. And if they do end up adding this feature, I really do believe that they are going to be one of the most successful brokers in Europe going forward. And lastly, we have Interactive Brokers, which is actually my broker of choice. I started off with Revolut, as I said, tried many other brokers, but did end up going to Interactive Brokers and haven't regretted since. I really love the platform. It's definitely not the most user-friendly or prettiest platform to use and they don't have commission-free trading, which is one of the few platforms that doesn't offer that. However, they have the longest track record in the industry, are arguably one of the biggest brokers in the world. They virtually serve most countries around the world. And as I've shown you previously, some of the brokers trading 212 and many others are actually relying themselves and their trading platform on the infrastructure of interactive brokers, which just shows you how powerful they are. Now, obviously they don't have commission-free trading, but they make it very clear and transparent what you're gonna be paying on each trade. And the currency exchange is also very, very competitive and some of the best rates you will be getting. So when I send my euros into interactive brokers and exchange it to dollars, I really get some of the best exchange rates out there. And that's why I don't mind paying a small commission because overall I still be better off by using them for the currency exchange than having commission-free trading, but being charged a high exchange fee. So you have to really see the total cost. Now, in terms of different platforms, they really have so many to choose from. They recently added the Global Trader, which is really good because again, so many people complained how difficult and clunky the interface was. So now recently they added this interface, which is basically geared towards beginners and it just competes a bit more with the other platforms to make it more seamless and user-friendly. So if you're starting off, that's probably your best bet to download the Global Trader app. You basically use the same account you would use for any of the other interactive brokers platforms but 
this is just a bit more simple interface and just makes it easier to use. So most of the time for myself, that's actually the app I'm using. At the same time though, they also have the client portal, which is the web interface. So here you can log in and do all the research and fancy trades that you want to do. It's definitely much more clunky and sophisticated, but at the same time, if you are a more experienced trader, then that's maybe the solution you want. Then they have the IBKR mobile app. So that's basically the same as the web interface, but on a mobile app. So it does so much more, much more powerful. But once again, as a beginner investor, definitely it can be a little bit overwhelming. And lastly, they even have a full trading station if you're a day trader, etc. That's for absolute pro users. Myself, I'm not using it. I find it very clunky, very irritating, and I don't think most people will have to use this. So there you have it, 10 different brokers you can choose from if you live in Europe. And it's really good to see that the options getting better and better. A few years ago, we never had anyone offering commission-free trading. Now, as you can see, most of them do. However, as we saw before, always look at the total cost a specific broker costs you because while they might be offering you commission-free trading, they often have other little hidden fees that makes the total even more expensive than paying a little commission. So look at the big picture. I personally think all 10 are great options to get you started. If I had to choose three, I would definitely start off by using Revolut in case you already part of the ecosystem and using it for payments, etc. It just integrates so seamless with the rest of the app and really is the easiest way to get started. Plus the fact that they do allow you later on to transfer your portfolio to another broker if you so wish. My second recommendation is definitely Lightyear. That's an app I really watched and started using myself. I really love the experience so far. I just hope eventually they will add the ability to transfer stocks out of Lightyear. If they will offer that, honestly, I think it's going to be my go-to app for the future because the interface and experience is definitely the best I've seen across any of the apps. And and lastly, how else could it be? Interactive Brokers, which is my broker of choice. I've been using them now for a number of years. I really love the platform. It's great to see it evolve over time. It used to be way worse and they really developed and caught up with some of the newer brokers out there. But the overall infrastructure, trust and reliability is second to none with Interactive Brokers. In this video over here, I'm actually going to give you a deep dive tutorial into the Interactive Brokers Global Trader app. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. As always, stay healthy, get wealthy and I see you in the next one. Ciao!